there are two types of thermodynamic properties of a system one is extensive property the second one is intensive property so what are the differences between these two properties how to remember which property the temperature is which property the volume is like that here before taking those examples first i will tell one main difference between these two let us take in this one example so here i am taking one system okay so in this system i am dividing into some parts okay like this as we wish whatever 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like that okay so here if you are taking the property of first one okay first part the property of the second one the property of the third one like that if you are adding all the properties in all the parts it will give sum of the system property okay so extensive property means if you are dividing the entire system we are taking individual parts we are taking the property of first part second part third part in the system it will give the sum will give the property of the entire system okay so here in this example in intensive property this sum is will not give with the exact value it will not give the system property so here i am taking another same example okay some parts i am taking one two three like that so here whatever one part first part property it is equal to the property of the entire system first part first is equal to second is equal to third all the parts has same property is equal to the entire system okay entire system so here sum is equal to the entire system property here whatever part we are taking whatever point we are taking it is equal to the system property it is the main difference what is what will be the example of this can we take volume i am taking volume in this one i am dividing small volumes one two three like that if i am adding all the volume it will give the entire system volume so example we can take volume is it correct example and shall we take mass mass also if you are dividing m1 m2 m3 it will give the entire mass okay volume mass and energy also we can take okay energy so like that we can take the examples of this extensive property okay and uh, here what are the examples we can take temperature i am measuring i am keeping the thermometer at uh, first part okay now i am not taking all the parts i am taking the uh, temperature of the entire system it will give the same value temperature pressure density okay so like that we can uh, take the differences between extensive property and intensive property what is another main difference of these two here these are depending on mass of the system this extensive property will depend on mass of the system these are independent not depend on the mass of the system okay whatever mass okay it will give the same temperature it will give the same pressure of the system it will not change okay with mass these values will be change okay now here we can use one formula here we are not considering mass correct so by using these values if you are removing mass by using these properties we can call it as intensive property i will write here intensive property is equal to extensive extensive property extensive property by mass shall we write like this okay whatever extensive properties these are depending on mass okay mass will be there in this uh, property values if we are cancelling that mass it is coming intensive property intensive property means it will not depend on mass okay so for example we can take we can take for example specific volume 
always remember specific means 1 by mass okay whatever uh, value we are taking that divided by mass volume we are taking volume by volume is extensive property okay so extensive property volume by mass we can call it as specific volume so specific volume is intensive property so simply we are cancelling the mass from the extensive property it is coming like intensive property it is equal to intensive property these are the main two differences between extensive property and intensive property